Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will give a small introduction about Cytex Kata. If you are a beginner with Cytex Kata, then this video and upcoming videos for Cytex will be helpful to you in your initial learning phase. Let us first see a little bit history of Cytex Kata. Cytex Kata was initially developed by Australian company Cytex Proprietary Limited. Then it was acquired by Schneider Electric in 2006 and later after merger of Schneider and Aviva in 2017, Cytec has moved its Cytec business to Aviva Group. This information is available on their official website. This reads uh, Cytec Scada had ended up commercialized in Schneider Electric but it is available in Aviva Schneider Electric industrial software business. Different version of Cytec. As on April 2020, latest version available on Aviva website is Cytec 2018. But it is important to know which were the previous version and its compatibility with Windows operating system. This information is available on this page from version 3 to version 7.1. Which version is compatible with which operating system is listed here. Link for this website is given in the description of this video. And in the second fact, frequently asked question. They have given a list from version 7.1 to 2016. 2018 is missing in this list. Maybe it will be available soon. So you can check which version will be compatible with operating system you have. Okay. What is project and included project in Cytex Kata? The project is basically your development. What you are developing is your project. But it is important to know what is included project. So this here it is test project or example, these are the project. But included project is suppose you are develop one project, you also develop some objects, symbols, libraries in project one and the same libraries, symbols and objects you want to use in your project 2 then you can include project 1 into project 2 so you can have access of all the symbols and libraries of project 1 into project 2 ok let's uh, create a new project for creating a new project you have two by default template style one is uh, sxw that is structure where style and another is tab style this is, this is sxw style template this looks like a web browser in the top you have some alarm list and on the right side you have navigation pan from here you can change your pages and this one is the tab style personally i prefer tab style template because here you have much more development and view area compared to SXW template. Let's create a new project inside Tech Studio add new project. Name of your project. You can add some description about your project, location where you want to save your project files. And important is here, your template and resolution part. So you must check the resolution of your customer screen prior to development of your project. Here on Wikipedia page, they have given standard resolution name and its corresponding screen size. So you can select uh, your screen resolution according to your customer screen requirement. Now 
try to make changes, make this project active, so you can make your changes here. Another important note is, if you are using SciTech 2015 or later version, this will open two different windows, that is SciTech Studio and another, this one, SciTech Graphic Builder. But if you have some older version, it will open three different windows. These are SciTech Explorer, SciTech Project Editor, and Graphic Builder. In newer version, they have combined SciTech Explorer and SciTech Project Editor. And Graphic Builder is available separately, same as before. So Graphic can be developed in Graphic Builder, and some other settings for your project can be done in SciTech Studio. That we will see in upcoming videos. Removing and adding project link. Suppose after working with months with SciTech Studio, you will be having multiple of projects. And if you want to hide your unwanted project instead of deleting, you can remove your project for displaying here by removing project link. Or you can also unlink your project and their included project using this hierarchy option. So it will hide from the list. And once you require to take it back, you can go to add project link. Navigate to the folder where you have saved. And select your project and say OK. It will show on the list. Creating a copy of your project. Suppose uh, you are going to use your existing project and add some features for your new customer, then simply you can copy your project. You can also use this option like copy to existing project or copy to a new project. You can give any name if you want to make copy to a new project. And again, where you want to save your new backup. Say OK. So it has created a copy of your project. Now you can work on a new copy. Let's delete as this one is for demonstration only. Backup and restoring a project. Taking a backup is a very important part. So from this backup and restore option, you can create your backup where you want to save your backup file. Say I save on this folder, desktop. And what are the options that you want to save with your project? I also would like to save subdirectories. In case you would like to encrypt, then you can select this option. By this option, you can also save your included project for a particular your project. Backup completed. And restore the same way, where you have saved your project from there, you can restore your project. Name already exists, so let us give some another name. OK. And restoring. So this way, you can take backup and restore of your project. These are the different options like pack that we'll see in upcoming videos. These properties, this will show you some basic properties about your project. Project ID is assigned automatically. You do not, no, don't need to change it. 
migration tool when you want to upgrade your older version back up to a newer version then this will be useful open in explorer this will open your project folder where you have kept saved so from here you can see the different file that your project has created prepare web deployment this is for a web web client that you will see in next videos and project analysis so what are the number of tags how much uh, details about your project this will be available from this analysis option so guys i think this will be enough for today's video in upcoming video we'll see more about creating a project its features and creating tags and a lot more please subscribe and like videos if you find this video little bit informative to you thanks for watching